Hi, I'm Amanda Palmer, and for this 48, I'm in Naples, Italy's third largest city and the unofficial capital of its sound. This once glittering regional capital is now blighted by such endemic corruption that it recently spent a year buried under its own rubbish. But on this 48, we hear beautiful music coming from that junk. And as lemon farmers struggle, we meet the man who refuses to abandon his beloved fruit. And we investigate the ancient fertility dance that's been exciting Neapolitans for 2,000 years. Many of Naples' problems are attributed to the Camorra, a powerful local mafia with such an extensive network that most Italians say it's difficult, if not impossible, to beat. But some people here disagree. Ciao! Ciao, Amanda! <laughs> Welcome to Naples! Thank you! Now, where are we? We are right in the middle of the city. The street is called Spaccanapoli, which mm -hmm. means that it splits Naples into uh, two different parts. Like a good side and a bad side? No, it's just <laughs> right in the middle. And like all of Naples, it's firmly controlled by the Camorra. When you live here, you cannot avoid it. Right. You live together with it. You know that most of these shops pay Camorra for protection. Right. It all contributes to the Camorra's 12 billion euro turnover, with profits flowing through 7,000 members to around 80 controlling clans. Look at this. Son of a boss, because literally is a boss, Camilla boss, was injured yesterday. There's people a lot just... of violence here as well, and it's getting worse, they say, here in Naples. It depends on uh, families. Yeah. If they fight to control the territory, then there are more people killed or injured. Despite a recent high profile assassination, the area of Sanitar is now relatively peaceful under the Torino clan. And we'd come to see how teenagers are educated about organized crime. A serious career option in a city where unemployment is nearly double the national rate. Sanguetta si sposa Agnesina. Vediamo dopo che succede. Dopo. Lei ci lascio un bel bel. Written in the 1930s, the paper gangster is a story of a man who pretends to be a Camorra boss. She takes also um, his uh, girl, his wife. Wow. So this kind of thing really happens too, doesn't it? Yeah. Thank you so much. I'm a person who has <laughs> made a vision. Does this change their opinion at all of Camorra? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me what this has taught them about what they want for their life. If you are involved in Camorra, then you can't get out of it. It can't be respected by people by using your strength or violence. You, must... you learned this in the play? So, yeah. Luckily, the fight against the Camorra isn't left entirely to the theatre community. <laughs> and someone had overstretched themselves. <laughs> Copy! <laughs> Naples Port is one of Italy's busiest and a magnet for organized crime. <laughs> Andrea had been hard at work arranging for us to visit the branch of the army responsible, the Guardia di Finanza. Buongiorno. And they were clearly expecting us. Abbiamo quasi 700 contenitori da monitorare. 700 cargos only today unloaded. Pakistan, Bangladesh. From China, Bangladesh. Every year, 200,000 cargoes come in here. And they have had a reputation for letting in anything. Fake designer fashion, illegal cigarettes and hard drugs. We had a, a best-selling book written about it by the journalist Saviano, is that right? Uh, Gamora. 
I mean, he claimed that, you know, that, that this place was basically controlled by the Camorra. Some of these books have been considered journalistic. That is not. Maybe that is the mistake. I mean, that is fiction. Fiction, he says, because they're checking 30% of all containers as part of a new crime-fighting plan. But he couldn't talk about that. So you've got three degrees, yeah? Even how clever he is was a matter of national security. We don't need to talk about that? No. 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 We can't talk about the strategies here, but what we can tell people is why you're good at your job. Yeah? Io sono un buon giocatore di scacchi yeah, e questo chess player. mi aiuti molto nel lavoro perché mi aiuta a pensare sempre alla mossa successiva. And it's his move next as he intercepts fake goods his opponents import people to make the fakes in local sweatshops. There's so much we can't talk about. But he couldn't tell us that. Another situation the officials say they have under control is waste management. There is no doubt that, that Naples stinks. Naples was suffocating under mountains of uncollected rubbish as the dumps were full. But the authorities just moved it to countryside dumps, as a local eco-activist showed us. And these were illegal dumps? This is not illegal. Legal. Garbage is Camorra gold. They run rubbish companies and offer extra cheap toxic waste disposal by dumping it here. Why is the sky grey? Because during the night, Camorra, all the night long, burns tons and tons of toxic waste. Like deadly asbestos. Do not use your mouth. Breathe with your nose. Okay, let's just talk about it, because I had a minor heart attack just then. Okay, <laughs> so what we just went past was, was asbestos? Quando brucia, okay. esce fuori la mia. That is dangerous when a fire is up, because it is in the air. Yeah. And look, there are farms here, peaches. So they're growing peaches yeah. next to this industrial waste. Planned new dumps led to protests as locals feared the Camorra would dump dangerous waste. But it was the Camorra who started these riots. <laughs> Tired of watching their people die of cancer, one band of brave activists is taking their anger out on the rubbish. So all of this you found at a dump? This is a good way to recycle, yeah? yeah. But most Italians don't recycle, do they? Noi abbiamo molta sfiducia perché non Italians maybe do recycle, but the companies that should recycle plastic and all that stuff maybe do not do that. I saw your neighbors watching you and mm -hmm. there's a sort of curiosity, but are you having any effect, do you think? Molte persone cominciano a youngsters who were like directly or indirectly involved in criminality started to play with them and so they uh, gave up with that line. What did you think? It's a beautiful thing. She likes that. She thought that was beautiful? Is the garbage crisis over as far as she's concerned? Pensa che la crisi dei rifiuti sia finita? No. They are risking their necks, openly criticizing the Camorra. And that night, we headed into another mafia-controlled district, one of the city's most dangerous, to meet a 12-year-old who was armed with a microphone. Fortuna! Fortuna's a famous child singer. She sings in the neo-melodic style, a pretty cheesy genre that's most popular for family celebrations like this little lady's birthday. They sing in their local Neapolitan language rather than Italian, in a sort of nasal style. And in poor areas like Forcella, they're worshipped more than pop stars. Do they want to be like the 
Cantavo da quando avevo 5 anni e poi she started to sing at 5 and then she did the first CD at 8. Nia Melolics often sing of love and other interesting habits. Some artists have been linked to the Camorra, seeing their political messages. But not for Tuna, she condemns the guns and drugs lifestyle of mobsters. Fortuna's not from this area, is she? And a lot of the children here are quite disadvantaged. I desideri ne sono tanti nella vita. She brought about desires and the life and dreams of the babies. And it was time again for Fortuna to kiss all her babies goodbye. She had another party to get to. Day two and I was in trouble for so far failing to mention Naples' most famous gift to the world, pizza. So Ilaria had brought me to meet a master of the pizza arts. That was beautiful. <laughs> Bellissimo. So what pizza are we making today? La classica margherita prima. First we do a classical margherita. It'll take these apprentices a year to join the 250 pizzaioli Enrico's already trained. The secret is dope. I see, it's really soft. And they don't pin, do they? No. <laughs> it's tough because pizza making is governed by EU regulation, but these guys are plenty motivated. Tell me how difficult some of their backgrounds are. They are all good guys, but they don't know how to go on with the school. Some parents in prison. Uh, these guys could, could be a good chance to don't stay in the street and do is involved in the system. What was Giuseppe doing before this? Cosa hai fatto prima di di fare questo? Niente. It was do nothing before. He was unemployed before. Yeah. Emanuele has wanted to be a pizzaiolo since he was a boy. Is it a good job here? Come ragazzo, quindi come pizzaiolo. When you start, uh, you can take about 500 uh, euro for a week. Not bad in a city where the average wage is 300 euros a week. But it's not open to everyone. The myth is that it's women can't make the dough, isn't it? It's like tradition and then nobody trusts a pizzaiola, a pizzaiola woman. 60 seconds later, the 400 degree oven had cooked the men's masterpiece. Have you ever eaten Pizza Hut or Domino's? Fast Feeling food. crispy, you crispy. Know. No. <laughs> Contrary to popular belief, Italian cuisine does extend beyond pizza, so they have a lot more to learn. That's really good. Tough for kids who've struggled at school. Uh, till 13, we attend the school. And from 13 to 18, we do barman to his brother's bar. Toughest of all is Noki. I have had so much bad gnocchi in my life. Do you want to know the secret? Yes. Le patate rosse. Red potatoes, so yeah. less water than the other one. Well, I'm allowed to touch now, am I? <laughs> yeah. Teaching the young chefs the secret of good gnocchi is student turned master Vittorio. How much have your life changed because of this? Quanto è cambiata la tua vita? Molto, anzi tanto. I understand very much. Very much, yeah. I understand a little and Io dico che questa qua è l'ultima spiaggia. And he said this course is the last chance. 
you got in this town. Finally, it was time to try their work. <laughs> this is perfect. We're going to put them in the microwave. It tasted like the boys' future would be bright after all. Instead of cheese, let's say mozzarella. <laughs> Next, Andrea tried to take us out of Naples. I think we're going to be late. And Mario will take us there with my butt van. We were heading to the picturesque coast, where they also do their own traffic jams. No, non la devo dire. Scena la cupa. Pensavo che stavamo persone a fare le fotografie. Non mi sarei mai permesso. Mi scusi. And we were late, as usual. Yeah, yes. The Amalfi Coast has been famous for its terraced agriculture since the Romans, but 65% of the farms now lie abandoned. But this man isn't going anywhere. <laughs> Why does he kiss them? Che li amo, sono la mia vita. It's his life. Really? You love your lemons? Isn't jealous? I mean, I mean his wife. Non è geloso perché è un amore speso bene. She is not jealous because it's a beautiful love. Luigi has farmed these groves for 40 years, but his roots go even deeper. I miei genitori, his parents, made him under a lemon tree. Perché non potevano fare l'amore. There was just one room in the house, and there were too many people, so they had to, you know, they had to find it. That is beautiful. He has lemon juice instead of blood in his veins. The lemons have a similar symbiotic relationship with the landscape. Sole e a. Sun and water. Il sole penetra sotto le radici dei limoni. The sun enters through the walls because there are small holes, so the roots can get it. So Luigi is saying the sun heats the walls, which heats the roots. Very clever. Other farmers are leaving because lemons like these cost around one euro per kilo to produce. But often sell for as little as 35 cents. Luigi Jr. is one of the very few young people joining the industry. Listening to Luigi, the farmer here, talk about his lemons, it's incredibly romantic. Does he think he's got the same passion? Was he made under a lemon tree, in other words? Yeah? Luigi only survives thanks to his lemon empire. He owns his own shop, sells directly to ice cream producers, and turns the rest into a local liqueur, limoncello. All'amore. Many people will like to, to work here, but they wouldn't earn that much money. Mm. So it's not enough. Mm. You must love this. Can I try his lemon? As you know. <gasps> <laughs> Even though Luigi makes lemons pay, the future of his beloved trees is in doubt. I've never tasted lemon like this, never. Once he's gone, his family will be tempted to use the land to grow the current cash crop of choice, luxury hotels. How much longer can he honestly Quanto work tempo here? ancora pensi che puoi lavorare qua? Io vorrei lavorare sempre. <laughs> Ever. <laughs> Quella che vuole Ant until God wants. Yeah. Io vorrei essere sempre. Would like to be buried under a lemon tree where he was born. <laughs> oh. Almost as old as the terraces is the Tamariata Festival, where I was heading with Ilaria and Andrea. And they were getting in the mood. For at least 2,000 years, local farmers have made offerings for a good harvest. And since the advent of Christianity, the festival is in honour of the Virgin Mary. Yes. Do you know much about this town? They are um, very uh, connected to the tradition of the fields, the music, and you know, the harvest. The Tamariata is an ancient courtship dance and closely linked to the Tarantella folk dance featured in films like The Godfather. In the past, the women don't go around the lawn. I don't know 
Yeah. But they like it. They love it. Si, si. Chocolier. She's a dancer. You're a dancer? How long will she be dancing for tonight? Bellissimo. She said something like, oh my god. Some songs may seem like a call to prayer, perhaps a remnant of the 9th century Arab domination of the area. The singing style was continued by prisoners trying to communicate with their loved ones. One instrument sounded almost Aboriginal, but this Aussie was feeling slightly intimidated by the dance floor. You should dance with your... No, 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 Luckily, Luca was an excellent trainer. A lot of fun. Yeah. Really? So really? Fun. Yeah. What do you want people to remember about Naples? The happiness of this city. You, Lauren? And me, and for me, the music is very important. So for me, I'm very happy to finish with music, with Tamuriata. Ragazzi, fate la musica!